guys and welcome to our mixed level session from a different location today. We are in Cape St. Francis, so I've changed it up, set up my own home studio here at Dale's parents' house, so exciting times. Let's get moving. Remember, full body workout, you pick the option that feels good for you. All right, no pain, no strain, let's just get wonderfully mobile. Find your center, find your core connection from the start. Take a strong inhale through your nose. Exhale, let's move into our spinal warm up, rolling the body down, taking a lovely inhale at the bottom. Breathe out as we roll the body up. Pull your shoulders back and lift your chin up. Inhale, exhale, tucking to roll down for deep core breath at the bottom. And slowly bringing your spine back up. One more tuck in to roll down. Staying hanging out in this position. We inhale, bending knees. Exhale to stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, three. And stretch. Breathe, four. And stretch. Keep going for five. And stretch. Breathe, six. And stretch. Two more. Breathe, seven. And one more deep breath, eight, slowly rolling your spine back up. And shoulder rolls around, five and four. Breathe, three, exhale, two and one. Awesome, five and four and three. Breathe, two, let's get that neck mobile. Connect your shoulders, we tuck in chin into our chest. And then anchor in that position. Breathe out to tuck down and floating back. Three, exhale, lower. Inhale, come back. Four, breathe out, tuck. And coming back, one more. And tuck and come back. Palms face forward. We move into that side line. And back, breathe out, two. Inhale, breathe in, out, three. And swap, keep going for four. And in this reach up and over, add a pulse for five, four, and three, and two, and one. Up and over, pulse five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Come back from here, back into that spinal roll. Bending and stretching those legs out for five. Bend and stretch for, inhale, exhale for three. Bend and stretch two, bend and stretch one. Take a moment, take that stretch in the calves, the hamstrings. Soften your knees, connecting your core as you roll that body up. Floating these hands in front, be really strict with chin, shoulder line as we open these arms out. Inhale, float them forward. Let's get some blood flowing into our upper back. So shoulder blade areas, a long line through your wrists, through your elbows. Keeping those ribs tucked so you don't pop that chest out. Focus on that core activation. Let's go for four more and glide. Exhale for three. Inhale, forward. Breathe out for two. And glide for last time. And now keeping those shoulders still, don't let them shrug. We loop these around, feel the scapula move, the shoulder blades. And two, keep an eye on that chin placement. Three, exhale, four, breathe out, five, exhale, six, breathe out, seven, Breathe for eight, exhale for nine, and one more, 10, reverse, 10 and nine. Breathe eight and seven. Breathe out six and five and four. Head our upper arms, three. Breathe two and one. From here, bend those elbows. Check the neck, the shoulders are not compensating. Palms stay forward. Let's squeeze those elbows into the body, work into the lats, and let's glide them out. Now I want you to be strict here, no tensing, no letting that neck tense up and compensate. Squeeze in for three. Feel how those shoulder blades move in that upper back. Squeeze four. Getting those posture muscles awake. Breathe out for five. 
Inhale, open out. Breathe out for six, strengthening these upper shoulders, upper arms. Exhale, squeeze, teaching that body to not use the neck, not use those top traps to compensate at all. I just want two more. And lift. Breathe out for one. Now from here, checking your line. Let's breathe out. Float these palms and elbows to kiss in the center. Slowly opening out. Let's get the shoulder blades to connect together without popping those ribs forward. Again, squeezing together, watching the collarbones here. Keeping them open, a proud line, no tensing or rolling forward. Three, you want to keep checking your chin, doesn't want to tuck down. Now, some of you might need to lower the elbows to avoid that shoulder tensing up. That's totally fine. Breathe out. Getting to know what your range is is part of the process. That mind-body awareness is key. Exhale. Let's do four more. And I'm hoping you're feeling some work by now. Yes. Exhale. Four, three. Those upper arms, those shoulders are working. Exhale. Glide together. Two. Now, of course, if you've reached your maximum, those arms are on fire, take a breather, relax and recover. If you can join me to finish this off, squeeze your palms and elbows together, check the neck and shoulders are not tense, and finish lower down, and up, slowly down, and up, beautiful, three, hello, shoulders, strength for four, and up. Breathe five and lift, breathe for six and up, breathe for seven and three, two, go, breathe eight and two, two, go, breathe nine and one more, breathe for ten and open these up and relax those arms down. Whoa, you see, we don't need heavy weights to strengthen them up. Let's see, what are your mid spines doing? Hands behind your head. Or if that's a little tight on the neck and shoulders, hands on the shoulders, elbows stay lifted. Tuck your hips down, anchor them in position whenever you do a rotation. Inhaling, drawing it to center. You want to be strict with those hips staying forward, not letting them come with you. As you rotate, the core connects the ribs and belly tighten, those muscles supporting the spine. Breathe out, rotate, and in every session you're feeling this mobility improve. Rotate, and the ability to trigger the core at the same time. Exhale. Now, in this final rep, focus on those hips staying nice and still. We go a little deeper for 10 and 9, 8 and 7. Breathe 6 and 5 more and 4 and 3. Breathe two and one, drawing it back. Other way, watching chin and shoulders, pause ten and nine and eight and seven. Breathe six and five and four and three. Breathe two and one. As you come back, we move into a side bend. Inhale, come back, watch those elbows. Exhale, side bend, tightening that belly each rep. Let's go for two. Inhale, back, breathe out, side bend. Just working that spine mobility and flexibility. And last rep. Each way we add in a pulse set. Anchoring the hip on the side. Don't let it pop. And let's pulse ten. And nine. My head is coming with eight. And seven. Breathe six. And five. And four. Breathe three. And two, two, go, and one, coming back over, ten, nine, eight, and seven, breathe, six, and five, and four, and three, breathe, two, and one, come back, relax these arms, take your step out, side to side, turn toes and knees out, don't let those feet and knees roll forward, pull the knees back. Tuck your tailbones down, hands find a low V, which means the shoulder blades connect. And let's get rid of the sitting tension in our hips. Work into our bum, our inner thighs, holding down. Now, as you lift, feel that activation in your outer thighs, your glutes, and very much into your core. 
Breathe out. I want you to stay really in tune with your knees, never feeling pressure on the kneecap. Stop at your maximum. And slowly coming back. And the progression in this is being able to go lower without compromising your back placement, those knees and ankles, and coming back. And I love this exercise because we are stretching in the thighs, opening up those hip flexors, which store all of our sitting tension, not great for the back. And also strengthening our stabilizing muscles in the bum and the hips. We need that for back pain prevention. Let's get down for five more. Staying at your body's maximum for four. Be mindful of your posture at the top. The shoulder blades connected, shoulders away from ears. Three. Exhale to get down. Yes. And lift. Breathe up for two. Inhale, come back. Now I'm going to give you a choice. If you want a gentle challenge, Stay in this position at your lowest point. If you can add in some ankle strength, we're gonna lift our heels and tap. Nothing else to move. Don't let go of that core. And three, don't let those knees and ankles roll. And down, breathe five. And down, breathe six. And down, very nice. And seven. And down, breathe eight. And down, breathe nine. And one more, breathe for 10. Yes, lower the heels, stretch and relax. Boom, onto the back of your mat. Very nice, guys. Roll that spine down. As you reach the bottom, walk it forward. Find your downward dog position with soft knees. Always prioritizing that back, ears and arms are in line. And we'll walk it up, always giving those calves and hamstrings that stretch. Breathe for two. And stretch, inhale for three. And stretch two, more, breathe four. And stretch one, more, breathe five. And give it a lovely stretch for three. And two. And one. Drawing your knees down, hands underneath your shoulders, length the neck and spine. And I want you to open up this back arm out to the roof, chest to the back. We thread this hand through as you tuck and reach. Again, inhale, lifting your hand up, keeping that belly tight. Always supporting that lumbar spine, reach. Three, inhale to lift this up. And let's tuck and reach for one more. Inhale to lift this up. Now go as far as you can. If you can actually get your head onto the mat, always check you can lower and lift with ease, no pressure on that neck. If you want to take this one step further, lift that hand above your head and hold for another three, stretch the shoulders. The upper spines, those necks are getting a release. Lovely. And let's bring you back up into that positioning. And let's see this other side. Open this up. Threading your arm through as we stretch. Good. Inhale. Let's lift this up. And bend. Tuck through. Two more. Inhale. Reaching this up. And let's bend to reach for one more. Inhale, reach this up. Same form as we did on that first side. If your head is touching that mat, always be able to lift it lower with ease. If you deepen the stretch, float that hand above you and hold for three. And two. Breathe one. Great. Let's lift you back onto hands and knees. Good, lengthen through neck and spine, draw your shoulders away and tilt that pubic bone to belly. Always work on that length in the lower spine. Now from here, I want you to glide that back leg behind you. If you're working with gentle option, we're just going to do the legs. If you are up for a little bit more, you're going to take this front arm and we're going to float it up. Palm is facing up to the ceiling. Now watch here, if you're working with this arm up, 
Don't let that shoulder round forward and don't let those shoulders shrug. Really be mindful of your placement of neck, shoulders, spine and hips for the whole set. All together we lower that foot down. If you're working with the hand it always also taps. Let's push through that heel, that palm to lift. I want that body staying right here in the center. Make sure you are not tilting forward or back or side to side. Inhale, lower three. You want to squeeze that bum tight in your belly. Watching the height of your leg. If a leg's going too high, you're going to force that lower back to arch. I don't want that. Five, make sure you are not sinking into your hips. Inhale, lower for six. If you're working with this arm, squeeze into the back of the arm, that tricep and shoulder blade, seven. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower eight. Breathe out to lift up, watching your neckline, lower nine. Exhale to lift. And last time for 10. Now, if you're on the gentle option, you just stay in this position. If you're advancing with me, we're going to combo arm and leg, 10 little pulse. Nine and eight, watching hips and back. We on six and five and four, zip your belly and three. Breathe two and last time, one. Amazing, hello core, let's swap. I'm spinning around just so you can keep an eye on that front arm placement. You can stay where you are. And let's take other leg behind you. Gentle option, we just work with leg. If you're advancing arm and leg, let's go for it to lift up. Inhale and always use these first few reps to really get your placement. If you have a mirror nearby, awesome. Have a look at where your hips, where your back naturally want to go and then find yourself correcting and aligning. You want to get yourself conditioned to tighten the bum, the belly at exactly the same time. For those of you who tense in your neck and shoulders, you want to be really strict, keeping those shoulders away from your ears. Let's go for five more. Inhale, come down. Breathe in out for four. Inhale, come down. Lovely. Breathe for three. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift two. And come down. Remember, gentle option is just to hold it in position. Advance, left, pass arm, leg ten. And nine, little pant. And seven, breathe six. And five. And four. Breathe three. And two more. And one, relax. Shoulder rolls, giving those wrists a breather. Amazing, and rid of tension. And every session, just feeling how that really strengthens the full body. The less pressure you feel on the upper arms, those shoulders. Yes, and all the power from the center. Let's see that cat and cow. Mobile spines, that's what I'm after. We curl into the body. Tilt in the pubic bone, tucking your chin to chest, and then gently working through the vertebra. And always staying quite strict here, it's so easy to just schlumpf into that body. Don't let that happen. Again, breathe out. You want to peel the scapula apart from each other. Work on tightening that core in this position. And inhale, lubricating each vertebra. Open those collarbones to the front. Three, breathe out, tuck and curl into your body. And let's slowly move in into a release up. One more. Breathe out as we curl into the body. Let's stay here for two breaths. Push that mat away for one more deep breath. And then release it out. Let's bring your toes together. Open your knees for me. Sit your bum down on the heels, stretching the shoulders, the spine. Some of you might feel your hips stretch out here. And hold for three. Hold two on each breath. Can you reach those fingertips a little further? And one. Let's walk hands to one side. You can place the one hand on top of the other and hold three. Hold two. Hold one other way, walking over, hand on top and hold for three and two. 
Breathe in one as you come back to center, slowly rolling your spine up. And from here, take a nice big step forward with that back leg, toes in front of knees, hands on your thighs, shoulders melt away from your ears, and we move into that hip flexor and that hip stretch. Inhale, release. Now focus on the alignment in your pelvis for two. And back. Exhale, lower three. And last time, breathe out for four. Option A, stay here. Option B, if you can, go deeper. Let's stretch out those hip flexors. Remember, the tighter the hip flexors are, the less the core will be tempted to work. So that's why I need them mobile, I need them stretched and balanced. Lovely, guys. Let's swap it out. Other side, big step forward. Align that pelvis. Shoulders relax. Let's move into that forward tilt. Inhale, release. Supporting your spine as we forward tilt. Inhale, release. Three, breathe out to lower. And remember your choice to either option A, staying with hands up. Option B, deepening that hip flexor, stretch out and hold four. Hold three. Hold two, lovely, and one. Yes, and now that I know they are wide awake, join me on your bum. Heels digging into the ground. If you need the back support, you're gonna wrap your hands around your hamstrings, but if you want the challenge, reach those hands forward without allowing that kind of move to happen. So really conscious of your core. Let's go, breathe out. I want you to curl into your spine, watching the chin does not tuck, the shoulders do not shrug, and stop at your lower back maximum. So don't strain. Check your thighs are relaxed, hip flexors are relaxed, core is gonna do all the work. And then slowly lift in. And this is the important bit for me, sit up really tall. Let's go again. If you're working on that gentle option, we're using those hands as support, not overextending into the lower back. I don't want anyone feeling back pain with the set. And let's slowly lift up and stack tall. So we're working this combination of core strength and lower back mobility, being able to curl and then come back here into this lift up. That is posture strength. Four, breathe out. I want you to have this dynamic, agile spine. That's like my dream come true, guys. And let's lift up really tall. Can we do four more? Zip your belly to spine. And if it's starting to get a little bit strenuous and into the pain zone, rather rest. Take a moment. Breathe out, let's tuck and curl, or keep it in a really small range. I'm not fussed if you're not going far. Go tall. Lots to breathe out as you curl. And slowly lifting up. Now, if you want to rest after this next one, go for it, recover. If you can add a little bit more oomph, stay at maximum here. And from there, we're going to float our arms up without letting your chin or shoulders change their form. And to be really strict, often the shoulders will want to shrug, that chin will want to tuck down, say, no, not happening in this one. And don't stop zipping belly button down to spine. I want five more. Lift. Exhaling for four. Breathe out for three. Deep breath out for two. Breathe out for one. Use that core to lift back. Bring the feet together, open knees into a butterfly. And walk those hands forward. Stick your hips back. So you constantly want to work on sitting out of that shrug. It's very tempting to stay here. I know a lot of us are so tight that that's our go-to zone. But every session, you're trying to break free from that move, teaching yourself to sit out of the shoulders, opening up that hip and that lower spine connection, giving me another two, another one. Wonderful. And from here, I'm not done with that core. Stretch those legs out. I want your toes pointing. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Those of you who have really tight backs or hips 
and you want to soften the knees or bend the knees, I'm okay with that. Watch that those hips don't tilt in the sesh. All right, so anchor those inner thighs. Now tighten your core. This time I don't mind a slight tuck of the chin as long as those shoulders don't pop up. So anchor the shoulders away and feel this beautiful stretch. With the toes pointing, we're also getting those tibialis muscles, shin muscles, top of the feet involved. Good. And from here, we're going to breathe out, listen to your body, and don't go beyond your range. We're going to swoop that one arm to the back. Doesn't have to go deep into the spine. Inhale, we reach it forward, back into your stretch, keeping that core strong. Other way, let's swoop this arm to the back, zip your belly. Again, watching those hips are staying anchored. By the way, that's rep number one. Let's go swoop. Feel how those oblique muscles are saying, hi, I'm working. I want you to be focused on where that shoulder, shoulder blade and chin want to go. Breathe out. Let's zip and tilt. Inhale. Let's do three more reps. Each rep, I'm hoping you feel a little bit more flexible. A little bit more work in those core abdominals, obliques. And coming back. And squeezing those inner thighs. Reach. We have two more sets to go. Of course, if it gets too much at any point, you just stop. Take your moment to recover and relax. I'm trusting you to really listen to what feels right for you. And breathe out to reach. And this is our final set, guys. Make it wonderful. Breathe out as we reach. Yes. Inhale forward. And last time, breathe out to reach. And glide forward. Stay in this forward bend, but flex those feet. If you can reach those toes, go for it. Pull them back. And hold for five. Imagine I'm gently pressing on your back. Four. And breathe three. Exhale. Two. Lovely. Breathe one. And let's get you onto your backs. And let's see what are those lower spines feeling like today as you melt your body into this mat. Knees deep into your chest. Open feet and knees. I always like to add in that hip mobility. A lot of our tension is stored in our hips and that's what causes chaos in our posture, in our comfort in our body. So this is, we, this is where we come in and just oil up what needs to be oiled. Uh, let's change direction and always staying connected in that core. So you always have that inner shield, that support system. <sighs> Amazing. Now from here, I want you to drop that one foot down. Take this knee and cross it all the way over. I want you to open your palms to the roof to make a W shape with these arms. Spine is in neutral. And very gently lower knees one way. I want you to you look opposite, keeping the shoulder and shoulder blade down. Using your obliques, we come back to center. Other way, breathe out as you lower those legs down. Inhale. And draw it back to center. Let's go. Exhale to lower. And slowly coming back. Breathe out to lower down. And coming back. One more. Exhale, lower down and stay in this position for three. And two, breathe one and come back, other way. Lower down and hold three, not letting the shoulders lift, two. And one, wonderful, uncross your leg. Swap other knee on top and let's see what is the spine, the hips, the shoulders feeling like with this work for you. And you want to condition yourself to use the core. It's so easy for us to just power the move from the lower back. You're stronger than that. And breathe out to lower. Watching your shoulders. Inhale back. Breathe out to lower down. 
Lovely and back. Lower and hold four and three. Breathe two. Exhale for one. Come back. Other way, lower down, halt. And two, and three, good, four. And come back to center. I want you to place your heels together. Open up your knees and your toes. Now just watch here. When we go into this position, it's so tempting to let the weight be on our baby toes, but don't let that happen. Keep the weight right through the center of your feet. I want these arms down next to you, palms face up, which means shoulder blades connect. And I want you to imprint deep into the floor. Scoop your pelvis up. So we're working deep into our sacrum, these outer glute muscles, and the core needs to activate to keep that alignment. So have a quick look. Knees are in line, hips are in line, no tilting. And slowly massaging deep into the lower spine, back to your neutral. Again, imprinting, scooping the sub, checking your core, your bum, the outer hamstrings tight. And let's melt through this body right back to neutral. Three, remembering this is as much of an abdominal exercise as it is for the rest of the body. As you lift, zip your belly to your spine. We flatten in those abs. Four, breathe out, scooping up. Not letting that lower back strain. If anyone's feeling tension, you are going too high. Keep it lower. Four more squeezing as you lift. You can do a little poke. These glutes should be rock hard. And let's lower down. Three to go. Breathe out. Do a quick check of your feet. Are they rolling? And if they are, center them out. And watching these shoulders. Don't let them tense forward. Two more. Imprint to squeeze it up. And let's curl back down. Last one, this is it. Imprint, squeeze and lift. And option A is to just stay here for 10 counts. Option B, add a pulse, let's go deeper. 10, squeeze, nine, strong breath, and eight. And seven, deep squeeze, and six. Exhale, five, and four. And three, breathe out, two, exhale for one, curl through the body, one vertebra at a time. And I want you to bring your feet and knees together. From here, we're gonna lift that one leg up to 90 and take a deep breath as you imprint in and squeeze into your maximum every session that goes by. I'm hoping you feel the strength to go a little bit higher without compromising your lower back or the hip alignment. That's your goal. Imprint, squeezing and stopping the second you feel the lower back getting involved. That is your maximum. And lower down. We feel in that strength work in the back of your leg, your hamstring, your bum, your belly tightens up. And let's lower. Three more, breathe out to squeeze. And every time we're coming down, we work in that mobility of spine. Two, exhale, squeeze in it up. And let's lower down. Now, option A, for the gentle work, we just stay in this position. For a little bit more oomph, lower halfway. Exhale, lift slowly. Two, and lift, and three. And squeeze, and four, magnificent control, five, and six, squeeze, and seven, and squeeze, and eight, and squeeze, breathe, nine, and last time, breathe, ten, and curl it down to swap, other leg up at 90, let's see, imprinting, squeeze, stopping as you feel that back, Keep checking where your hips are. As you lift, feel that bum, that hamstring and core. And let's curl down three. Imprint, squeeze it up, hold. And let's lower down four. Imprint to squeeze up. And let's melt down for five. Imprint to squeeze. 
And remember your choice. You can either stay in that hold, and if you want to advance lower and lift. Two, keeping it slow. It's all about control of the body. Up. And four, not letting momentum creep in. Five. And lift. And six. And lift. And seven. And up. Breathe. Eight. And up. inhale for nine. And one to go. Breathe. Ten. And melt it down. Beautiful, guys. Pull your knees back into the body. Ankles and knees stay glued together. <laughs> Excuse me. And let's loop these legs around, massaging your back, your sacrum into the ground. Good. Allowing for some recovery time. Giving me two more. And breathing out for one. Let's reverse around for four. Circle around three. Breathe out for two. Deep breath out for one. And from here, hug that knee into the body. Connect your shoulders into the ground. Your back is flat. And lift that leg up at 90 again. Now that spine is not allowed to move. We lower this leg down. Stop in the second you feel your hip wanting to click or your spine change your position. Using that core, we slowly bring in this leg up. Don't swing that leg up. I know we'll be tempting. Let's lower down. And as you lower, you want to feel that back pressing into the ground, the shoulder blade staying connected. Use that transverse muscle, that deep pelvic floor. Three, we lower down. This other knee that you're holding is pulling deep into your chest. The more you can pull it in, the deeper your psoas, the inner core will work. And lower down. This range is all dependent on where your hip is, where that spine maximum is. Don't let that click or strain happen. I want three more. Inhale at the bottom. And breathe out slowly, coming back. Two more. Let's lower down to the bottom. And breathe out to lift one more. And then we're going to draw some circles on that roof, feeling that thigh. So we really work in the balance of that leg strength. Stay at 90. Point this foot to the roof without letting your knee that you're holding move. All those hips circle this around 10. And circle 9. That back stays still. Circle for 8. Yes. Breathe for seven. Breathe out for six. And that circle is only as big as you can to control the move. Giving me four. So there's no point having a big flinging circle if those hips are having a party and tilting. And two. Circle. Last one. And then we reverse the range. Let's go for ten. Check that knee that you're holding. Check those shoulders are not tense. Breathe out for three. Exhale for four. That back staying in imprint. Exhale five. Breathe out for six. Deep breath for seven. Exhale for eight. Very nice. Two more. Breathe nine. And one more. Breathe ten. And swap to the other side. Amazing. Flex that foot. And let's go to lower down for deep breath. And using that core, slowly bringing it up. To that knee that you are holding. Can you pull it deeper into your chest? And breathe out to lift. Three, let's lower down to the ground. And breathe out to lift up. Four, inhale, lower down. And exhale, lift for five. Inhale, come down. Slow control to lift. Inhale, come down. Make sure you're not swinging this leg up. Are we ready? Point that foot at the top. And very slow, 10 loops around. No tilting side to side for nine. And circle eight. Circling seven. Deep breath out for six. Exhale for five. Breathe out for four. Exhale for three. 
Deep breath out for two. Exhale for one. Let's reverse around ten. Breathe out for nine. Deep breath out eight. Exhale seven. Breathe out for six. Exhale for five. Breathe out for four. Exhale for three. Deep breath out two. Last time. Exhale one. Pull your knees in. Yes, open feet and knees. Option A, that reflects our SI joint stretch. And option B, happy baby. And hold ya for four. Hold three. If that back needs a little more, add a gentle rock two. And one. Nice. So now we've worked the back of the leg. We've worked the front of the leg. Oh, let's get you into your sideline. All right. Now. If you are up for a bit of a challenge today, I want you to stay lifted on that arm. Only if it doesn't compromise the neck and shoulder. And just watch, guys. I'm not on the beach chilling as much as I want to be, but no, we are activated. So if you're on this line, make sure you're staying really lifted. If that's a bit too hectic on that neck and shoulder, we go back down into this line. Knees are in clam position. I want your feet flexing up. Back, heels, bum, all in that straight line. And this hand can be up on this hip so you can feel those TAs. Now from here, we're going to scoop this knee up towards you without letting those shoulders collapse down. Push through your heels, squeeze that outer thigh and that quad. Inhale, pull that knee into your chest and squeeze it out. Inhale. So what's important to me is that not only are we working that leg strength, but I want you applying that core connection every time you push. Inhale to bend. Breathe out, extend. Keep checking you're not collapsing into neck and shoulder. Keep those core muscles awake. Five more, pull. Breathe out to push. Inhale, four. Exhale, stretch. Inhale for three. And stretch. Inhale, two. And stretch last time, breathe one. Now from here, turn your toes and kneecap down. Watch it, it doesn't move. We're going to tap that foot forward and back. Breathe two. Now what I'm looking for here is from that hip up, there's no move. So you're not swinging forward and back. Let's go four and back. Breathe five and back and six. And back, this is rock hard, seven. And back, breathe, eight. And back, and nine. And one more, breathe for 10. If you wanna have a rest here, take a rest if you can. Turn your toes and kneecap up. Hip is staying still, don't let it tilt back. Lift in that core, heel tap. And back, and two, this should be like, whoa, out of that, and glute. And back, working all that stabilizing strength for those hips and five. And back, breathe, six. And back, and seven, breathe, up. And eight, and back, breathe, nine. And last to go, breathe, ten. And back, center it out. And relax, hello, bum. Everyone to stretch that arm out. I want your feet sliding a little bit in front of your hips. Let's keep those feet flexed today. Now for gentle option, keep your hand on the ground for support. If you want to challenge, lift this hand yet today. And we're going to squeeze our inner thighs, lifting up. Don't let your pelvis tilt back. Inhale, lower down. Breathe out to lift up. Inhale, come down. Nice. Breathe out for three. Inhale, down. Every week, teaching the body to keep your knees straight on this. Not letting that upper body load or tense up. Five more. We lift. And four. Exhale, lift. And three. Exhale, lift. And two. Breathe out, lift. Now, gentle option. Stay for the set. For a little bit more advance, add a little pulse. Ten and nine. Watch your hips. And eight. Breathe seven. Deep breath. Six and five more. Exhale. Four more. Breathe out. Three and two. Last time for one. 
amazing. Yes. Pull your knees right up in front of you. Today, I would love your elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. If you want a bit of cushioning for underneath your head, go for it. Even place it underneath on here. That's okay. Squeeze these knees together and I want you to open your chest, your pec, your shoulder and stretch to the back. Inhale, drawing this back into center. Two, breathe out a noise, using this to really get that posture connection. We're mobilizing neck, shoulders, shoulder blades. And three, and I always love how we get rid of the phone and computer tension while we open up this front line, yeah. And four, exhale, open this up and just melt into it for four. And three, breathe two, we come back on one. This time, stretch this arm and give me five loops. Stand in a range that feels good, no clicking, no grinding in that shoulder. Two more, and breathe one, lovely, other side, five, four, and three, two more. And one while we are here, let's grab this foot, pull that knee back for your deep thigh, stretch and flexes. Check there's that gap between your ribs, belly and floor. And give me another three, another two, another one. Wonderful. Let's swap up and over to the other side. All right, clam leg underneath. So, I want those feet staying flat, lifting up. If that neck and shoulder prefers you to stretch that arm, go for it. Check your alignment before we even get going. And let's do it, guys. Inhale, peel that knee up. Exhale, push through that heel, check your TA's tight. Inhale, lift. Breathe out, squeeze. Inhale, three. Remember the upper body is not allowed to move. Inhale, four. Exhale, squeeze, breathe, five, and stretch. Inhale, six, and stretch, and seven, and out, and eight, and push, breathe, nine, and one to go, and ten, internally rotate, toes and knee cap down, toe tap, and back. This is where you watch that shoulder and hip, no moving. And three, that core needs to work. And four. And back, breathe. Five. And back. And six. And back, breathe. Seven. And back, breathe. Eight. And back. And nine. And one, two, go. Breathe. Ten. If you want to rest at any point, go for it if you can. Turn it out. Watch that hip. Heel tap. And back. And two, lift these ribs. And three, and tap, breathe. Four, and back, and five, shh, and six. Back, breathe, seven, and back, and eight, and back, breathe, nine. One more to go, ten, and bring it in, and stretch those legs out. Good, flexing those feet, sliding them in front. Remember, hand on the floor or up on the hip today. Squeezing those legs up, inner thighs, and this section here, that mid section for two. And out. Exhale for three, not letting those hip tilt back. Squeeze four and down. Breathe out five and lower. Exhale six and down. Breathe seven, inhale, lower. Exhale, eight, and down. Breathe nine. And this is your choice to stay on 10 or pulse up 10 and nine. Listen to what's right for you. Eight and seven, six and five. Breathe four and three. Breathe two and one. Relax, scooping knees right up, bending your elbows at that 90 degree or rest your head under you. And let's open up, chairs to the ceiling. Inhale, we come back, good. I'm just gonna scoop a little forward. Breathe out to open this up, yes, wonderful. And coming back. 
and just constantly taking note which side is tighter and where. Really getting to know your body. Where it holds its stress, its tension. And we just stay in this position here for four, for three, for two, for one. As you come back, lengthen that arm out for five loops and four and three. Breathe two, exhale for one, reverse the line, five and four and three, exhale, two, let's add that quad, stretch up, pull this foot back and give me that stretch in that thigh, holding there, lovely, so, so good. All right, and while we are on this mat, let's roll onto our belly, please. Now, Feet are at distance. Ladies, get yourself in the habit of always tilting the pubic bone into the mat. And everyone to please lift your belly button off that ground so that you constantly have this neutral spine position. Have a close look because I'm going to give you two options. For the gentle option, I want your head staying on the ground. And we're just going to focus on this lift to get into your shoulder blades and the back of the arms. If you want to add in some lower back strength and it doesn't hurt you, we're going to add option B where we lift the head and shoulders, arms at the same time. Feet are staying down, bum is staying relaxed. And then very slowly come down. Please, guys, it's not this. I'm not looking forward. I'm not lifting my legs. Be really cautious with your placement. Lengthen the neck and keep your belly button off the ground. Okay, let's master this form. Take a deep breath, exhale. I want you to feel the shoulder blade connecting. Option A, if you lift in the head as well, option B. Slowly drawing it down to the ground. Again, breathe out, getting these posture muscles super strong, placing you correctly and come back down. Three, we breathe out as we lift in up. Keep zipping that belly to your spine. Four, exhale, connect and lift. I don't want anyone's back or neck straining as you do this move. Four more, connect as we lift up. And gently lower for three. Keep going. Breathe out as we connect this up. Inhale, lower down, two. Breathe out as we connect and lift. Now, if you can join me for this last set, if you've reached your maximum rest, but if you can do a little more, I want you to stay in that position, but squeeze your elbows into the body and release little moves. Squeeze in and out. And three, and out. Breathe, four, and out. Keep going for five, and out. Breathe six and four more. Breathe seven, three to go. Eight, squeeze for nine. One more. Breathe ten and relax. Amazing. Place your one hand behind your back. Take this other hand and walk it across that mat. Lift onto your fingertips. Stretch your elbows. You can rest your head. And I'm hoping this gives you this delicious stretch through that underarm, the lats. Oh, I could just stay all day. I love this one. And swap other side. So hand across and stretch. Lifting that elbow off the ground. Good stuff. And let's get you onto your backs and let's get you nice and mobile. Awesome. Hug your one knee deep into that body. Connect your shoulders into the ground. This other leg along the floor. And we loosen this hip up for four. And breathe three. And breathe two. Exhale for one. Other way. Let's circle four. Breathe in three. Exhale two. We're going to wrap our hands around this leg. Flex that foot and push through your heel and get that calf, that hamstring to stretch. Take a moment to have a look at your hips and make sure you are centered. You're not tilting in the pelvis. 
Good, staying here, I just want you to point your foot and flex. Point, and three, and flex, breathe, four, and last time, point those toes, stretch in your knee and hold, five, four, three, and two, breathe, one, slide in that leg in, your option a bum and hip stretch, find a neutral spine, if you can, go a little more, pull those legs into the body and melt your low back into the ground. Really work on creating that anchor. Keep pushing that out and knee forward, pulling the other leg in. And do a quick check of your neck and your shoulders. Wonderful, let's swap. Pull the knee into chest, other leg extends along the floor. And we just massage this hip and the lower back. Good. And changing around, other way, let's loop. And two, breathe three, good. And ready to wrap your hands around you, flex and stretch it out. Feel the calf, the hamstring. Have a quick look at your hips, make sure there is no tilt. And from here, we point and flex and two and flex, breathe three and flex, breathe four and one to go. Point your toes, stretch and hold it. Yeah, shin, the tibialis anterior, the top of the foot. Nice, sliding those legs in, pushing that knee forward, option A. And option B to pull into the body, stretch. Anchor your sitting bones down, keep pushing that out of knee forward. Good stuff, and from here, I want you to uncross your legs, pull your knees into the body, holding the back of your legs. Imprint your spine, we're gonna tighten the core as you stretch and relax down. Tighten your core to stretch and one more. Now this is a stretch to your maximum. In fact, if you can reach your toes, your calves, wherever to deepen that stretch, keep your sitting bones anchored down for four. And three, love this, two and one. Open your feet and knees for that SI joint and it flexes. If you feel you can move to the happy baby, let's go there. And with both those options, keep anchoring your shoulder blades and hips down into the ground. Lovely. And lumbar spines, guys. Knees squeeze into your chest. Give me a nice little rock side to side. And let's get back onto your hands and knees. Slowly making your way back. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, lengthen through neck and spine. And I want you moving into a side to side tilt. Work in that side lower back. And breathe out for two. Going into a range that feels good for your body. And let's move for three. And side. And on this one, deepen that stretch and hold three. Two and one, come back. Other way, hold three and two and one. Dig your toes into the ground. Lift up, find your downward dog stretch. Now that you are worked, push to your maximum and give me three beautiful core breaths and two deep breaths. And one, for the gentle work, bring your bodies down to the mat and then get up slowly. If you can, walk your hands to your feet. Let's come back. And before you roll it up, align the body. Take your time, slowly bringing your bodies up. Good, and find beautiful postures in the center. Nice shoulder rolls for four. And three, bring two. And one other way, four and three. Breathe two and checking your necks are feeling completely relaxed and recovered. Tension free. 
I just want two more. And last one, let's get ready for our last stretch of the session. Rolling down and at the bottom, stay in here. And stretch up behind those legs. Lift your hips to ceiling, hold. Two. Hold one, soften knees. And let's stack your spine. Place your vertebra. Connect your shoulders and lift your head to the top. And give me a strong inhale, fill the lungs up. And deep exhale, one to go, deep, strong breath in. And exhale and relax. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel balanced, strong, and just incredible. Those endorphins should be kicking in now. So from Kate and Francis, thank you and goodbye. So much love, guys. Bye.